thousands were submerged in flood water as Super Typhoon Nomu, the strongest typhoon to hit the Philippines this year, pummels through the biggest island of Luzon on Monday. With a gust of 200 kilometers per hour, Nomu was so strong and huge that nearly 80,000 people were preemptively evacuated in seven regions, including the capital Manila and its surrounding cities. The three worst-hit areas are the provinces of Bulacan and Nueva Ecija in central Luzon and Quezon province in the south. Less than a day before the typhoon's landfall, the government warned about its potential impact. Here in San Miguel Town in Bulacan, residents were shocked by the speed of the rising flood waters. Those who live in houses with second floors stayed there, while others spent the night on their roofs. The last time residents here experienced flood was in 2013, but they said this time it wasn't like any other. It was worse. Mothers were carrying their children, while others were carrying packs of food with them, all while swimming or wading through flood waters. Animals, too, were suffering alongside their humans. Volunteers in and outside the town were packing relief goods for the typhoon victims. Nakakatakot dahil sa sobrang lahat ng hangin. Mas biglang dumating agad yung tubig ilo. Kaya lahat ng mga gagawin namin sa looban, talagang hindi nakapagtas, talagang mga gamit, naglutangan na lang sa bahay. Wala naman kasi, hindi naman kami sanay ng talagang ganyan. Ngayon lang talaga uli nangyari yung ganyang pangyayari. Sa loob ng bahay namin, gagandini. Doon na sa may labasan yung pinaka-loobang pangsimano ko. Mga gandini, may pinagpastao din. Di pare-pareha. For hours, residents here in Barangay Poblacion continue to wade knee-deep to chest-deep flood waters and trying to carry on with their day. Some, like Christy Romero, have suffered from painful and shriveled feet and hands after hours submerged in water. Oh, minuto lang. Ala pang, ala pang alas dos, ala pang ala una ye. Eh. Mataas na siya eh. Talagang lagpas tao na siya. Paano po kayo ngayon? Paano kayo nakalabas dito ngayon sa Eh, ako? may lubid po kaming, may lubid yung mga kapitbahay mula dun sa may kaduluduluhan na yun, sa looban. Hanggang din sa may bungad na papalabas dito. Oh. Eh sa amin no, lagpas tao. Tapos, hanggang lubid. Ngayon, hanggang ngayon, hanggang ganyan ganito pa rin. The government recorded five fatalities, all rescuers in San Miguel, and six missing people. Nearly 800 farmers were affected with over 15,000 hectares of farmlands destroyed or submerged. Around 2.5 million U.S. dollars was lost to the typhoon, which is expected to further worsen the country's inflation and shortage problems. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. held a situation briefing with disaster and cabinet officials and later held an aerial inspection of the affected areas and ordered swift assistance to the victims. Uh, very, very important is preparation. Uh, get people out of the areas of danger. Uh, put all of your assets that you're going to use pagka mag-rescue, para mag-relief. Put them in place as much as possible. <laughs> Uh, prepare all of the. You know, it's really in the preparation. I think this is a this is a good this is a uh, good illustration of how that can really help. So that's the that's the approach we will uh, we will take always. Floods are the top one catastrophe in the Philippines, with 28 percent or 29 million Filipinos living in flood-prone areas. Land use change, illegal logging, and climate change are among the main reasons for flooding. Escaping floods fed by torrential rains brought about by strong typhoons are a normal way of life for many. But as waters rise and hopes sink, there has to be a better and long-term solution to keep people out of harm's way. Camila Lamia, See Today, Philippines.